Greetings and welcome back to the channel. My name is Henry, aka Old Dude on Steam and on Discord, and we are here today to play Seven Days to Die Ravenhurst. Now, you may be noticing that it's only the 10th, and the reason I'm recording on the 10th instead of waiting till the 11th is because I was heading up to Trader Bob and I found this. So we're going to loot this today. But before we get started on that, you'll notice it's 4.58. I literally waited for daylight. I did a bunch of shit around the base. I got my food and water topped off through the means of cooking that uh, meat and some grilled corn and some goldenrod tea. Um, but disclaimer, I have a potty mouth. I curse, I curse, I curse. I love the F word. I love colorful adjectives. I curse, I curse, I curse. So if harsh adult language is offensive to you, then quite frankly, I may not be the channel for you and I will bid you a good day. Hope you stick around because I love my page. I love my, <laughs> I love you guys for watching and, and staying with me. So I hope you stay without further ado. Let's fucking loot this place. And fingers crossed for a claw hammer. Now, if we don't get the claw hammer, I'll take you guys with me up to Trader Bob's. I'll babble along the way, and we'll see if he's got it. So, let's get rolling. Now, on the way here, I ran into a very pesky feral businessman, and he was not interested in giving up. So, I might have to deal with him at some point. If he shows himself to be, if he shows up here, I might have to. Uh, we'll keep you. We don't need you. Uh, oh, I still have everything on the bike. I never bothered to fucking empty the bike. God damn me. Well, okay. Well, anyway, let's do this just so I have a place to hide if, if all stupid shows up. Now, this place I've looted many, 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 many times in my Seven Days to Die career. It's one of my favorite working... Actually, it is my favorite working stiff building to, to loot. And I know where the final loot is, and it's relatively, relatively easy to get to. That's just in case I need to run and hide. Uh, I can get up onto that wall there and take care of that. Now, you'll also notice I made a spear. I want to see if the spear is any better. If it is, I might just pull the book out for the spear and start again with that. Don't, don't begrudge me. I'm trying to stay safe and keep it at a distance. So, let's get in here and start looting. We're going to clear around the outside first, though, because I literally just got here and said, screw it, I was going to record, so I, that's what I did. I popped it up and started recording. Now, I know there are a couple zombies in here that I'm going to have to take care of, and we'll deal with them after I take care of whatever's outside. Hopefully, I won't... Really? Three cornmeal? Oh, look, here comes a big boy. And I know there was another one there. Yep, uh, that's what I heard. I was going to say, I know I heard another one. Uh, I just had a heart attack. I thought the businessman was the feral that I encountered on the way here. He literally followed me halfway here, I believe. He might even still be close. I don't know. I just got to be careful. I don't want to go around the back of the building because he might be there. And if, oh, what am I getting 10% for spears for? What is that? Out of stamina? All right. I don't know what that is. Do I have... Oh, that's right. I've been collecting spear books, so... Yeah. Let's put a bleed on Fat Boy. And then let's get away, because he's probably going to enrage. No? But yeah, when I saw this, I was like, yep, I knew I saw one. I couldn't not bring you guys with me for this. So we're going to do a little bit of a bonus episode. Can you just fall down, please? Thank you. Let's put another bleed on you. Let's back away. Yeah, I think we might have to go with spears. Now, the thing I'm going to debate my with myself over is whether or not pulling that out of the creative menu, the spear class book, will take away from my one item or not. Because I think I made a mistake. Uh, you know what? It will. Fuck. So, I guess I won't be doing that. <sighs> All right, so anyway, let's continue. Let's get some sticks here, clear around the outside. Uh, like I said, I know there's going to be one or two. There's one right there. Am I going to shoot you in the cooch? I think I am. I made more arrows overnight. Oh, yeah, cooch shot right in the snatch. Yeah. It's mad you don't like it in the butt, honey. Yeah, I don't blame you. Most women don't. Oh, did I say that? Really? Oh, there's there's a certain spot in hell for me after a comment like that, isn't there, folks? 
Really? Crawling? I hate the crawling fucking th I hate the crawling, man. It's so creepy. So give me, give me my arrow back, lady. Where the hell are you going, stupid? Nah, oh, your wait your turn. Now, where were we? Well, you and I, we just getting to know each other. Hi, Darlene. I'm Henry. Have a smack to the melon. There you go. Now, normally what I do is, is I will. No, fuck it. I'll just do it. Why well, say normally? Because there's a whole shitload of bad guys that are usually in here, and I don't see a dog. Is that a dog? That's yeah, a zombie dog. So, oh shit, I'm going to need a new bow here in a moment. Hitting one of these is probably going to wake them all up. If not, I would be very surprised. And they're going to turn around and run all the way to the far side of the building, which is where all the doors are. So now, if this doesn't wake them up, I will be muy happy. I am extremely happy. So I might be able to get the kill shot. Is she feral? No, she's just really pissed. Okay, well, let's piss this guy off too then. And if they're going to go to that door... <laughs> in your butt. Okay, I think she's dead. And then let's take him out. Oh, don't take that gate out. That gate's going to be... Keeping me safe from that stupid dog. Well, actually, the dog isn't going to be a problem because he can't get up a ladder. Oh, yeah, the gate's already... Those things must be terrible for health. Shit. Now, I did make a bunch of, of arrows overnight, too, so... Alright, there's the dog. I love the new sleeping animation for the dogs and for the, uh, the pigs. I think that's fantastic. It's so cool. Die. Damn it. Now, where are you going to go? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, oh! Doggy's smart. Oh, I was not expecting the dog to be that kind of smart. Uh, primitive bow, craft. Yeah, I was not expecting that at all. But hey, you know, now I know. It's a fucking, don't let them do that. Okay, we're going to use these because I have plenty of food. Oh, and grilled corn. Look at that. Minus five on the water. That's terrible. But I have enough water to keep me going. It's the food that really is a fucking issue. So we're going to use that. And then we'll pop one of these just to... Uh, yeah, we'll use one. Just to keep my water at max. Let's take this apart so I don't forget it because we all know Henry's a dumbass and will... And then let's carve up the doggy. And then we'll head around to the front and start working our way in. I'm going to grab my frames off. The, what, what is it? Bleach? What do you make? Water purification tablets are made with bleach. Okay, that's... Wow. Never would have fucking thought that, but Okay. So yeah, I don't, this is not going to be a normally full episode. We're just going to loot this place and then I'm going to call it. And then, like I said, I'll get back to my normal routine. Uh, why am I taking this apart, you say? So that way nothing can jump up on the wall if that's where I decide to go to. Uh, they can get out, so I might have to. I don't think there's anything else really hazard-wise in here. Dog, or like, hazard-wise, I mean like a dog or anything like that. So I should be good. Yeah, look at the reach on that. That is so much better than the club. I should have went with spears. And since you don't throw them anymore, they're actually very viable for 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 your home defense needs. Look at that. It's so much further away than Yeah, I should have went with spears. God damn it. It is a stamina hog though, but I haven't put any points into it. At least do I have any points to spend? Oh, I have one. Let's see. Uh, this is probably it. Why am I doing this here? I don't know, because I'm an idiot. Um, action skills. Yeah, we're not going to be doing the action skills. But where's the spears? Is there a spear thing? I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out later. I'll, I'll, I'll allocate my point at another time. Give my arrows back, please. The main thing is, is I want to get in here, get this place looted. Back door's wide open. We can just waltz in there. Anybody else around back here? 
And let's just make sure there's nobody in the tractor trailer because I don't want anybody sneaking up on me. This isn't like vanilla where I can just make fucking hatches and put them down to protect myself. Really? You're gonna make me fucking break one of these? Because that's what I did in vanilla, that's what I do. I make hatches, uh, protect myself with them, keep things from getting in. It works very well. I uh, can't take credit for that idea though. I got that shit all from Glock 9. But in Ravenhurst, you need a whole bunch of things to make a, just a basic wooden hatch. Damn it. Come on. 13. And I will show you. Since I'm a little bit safe. Actually, I'm not really safe in here. But So, let's see. Normal wooden hatch. Nails and brass hinges. So, that's expensive at this juncture in our game. And I don't think you can make the hinges. I think you have to get them from doors. That's something else that could have changed. I doubt it, though. Yeah, so you can't craft brass hinges. you got to actually find them, which makes sense because you can't make brass in a fucking... I'm not going to take you right now. and Actually, I'm not going to take that. Uh, I am going to take this, though, for the plastic. All right, and then let's see if we can sneaky, sneaky our way in. I don't remember if there's anybody else in the back here. I know there's a couple in the bathroom and maybe one in the back in that office. And then there's some up on the roof that I have to deal with, and I have to deal with them. Otherwise, they will come at me, and I do not want them to come at me, bro. No, I, I do not. I hear you. Oh, there's a couple out here. Damn it. All right, well, let's pick that up, because we're going to go out front, and we'll deal with things through the front. Oh, fat boy first. We're going to put an arrow in him. Don't you walk away from me. Wow, that hardly does... Oh, and he's pissed. Oh, boy. Can he jump up here from there? Can I jump up there? No, I don't think he can jump up from that. So, that's okay. that's good. But he does have a lot of health, so we're going to... Just try to stay away. And that's where the feral would be coming from if he's coming at all. That feral businessman. That's where he would absolutely be coming from. So just keeping an eye out on that. God damn, so much fucking health on you, fat boy. And remember, once again, we are playing on warrior difficulty. Uh, and the world seed, if you want to play along, is Dirty Jersey, all one word. Uh, warrior difficulty, max zombies on horde night, I believe, or maybe it's 32. Uh, Ravenhurst, god, I turned the zombies down to 32 for the Ravenhurst settings, because even still, it's a lot. Um, maybe next time I record a full episode, I'll go over all the settings again, because, well... Ravenhurst is not your typical mod, and it has its own settings for the city, for number of zombies, for sight range, uh, all kinds of good stuff that I think make the game way more interesting. And I just love Ravenhurst, period. I mean, you know, I know, I, I know some of you watching this might say, well, the crafting's really nitpicky, and you'd be right, it is, but I'm okay with that, and I'm not really sure why, but I've always just been okay with the way the crafting works. It... it it works. I think it makes sense in a lot of instances. Alright, Mo, by the time... Really? Oh, by the time I get done killing all these guys outside, there's gonna be more zombies coming. Fatboy's still at, like, almost half-life. Which is a great game, too, by the way. If you're into old-school first-persons, Half-Life was the innovator. I still love it. I still go back and play it over again. Can't tell you how many times I've actually played it. No, I'm not going to post a video on Half-Life. Get it off the Steam store and play it your damn self. It's a great fucking game, and it's worth your time. Uh, what is this place? Wow. Dude's got a... Well, whoever's house that is, they have basically the army in their backyard. Alright. Come on. Come on, Arlene. Let's dance. And then I gotta get inside and get this looted. And like I said, once I'm done looting this, um, I'm gonna pause the video and then if I don't, well, that's if I don't find what I'm looking for. 
If I find what I'm looking for here, we'll call it a day, and then I will head back to base and get the workbench crafted. And when I pick things up on the following day, we will be able to make our, well, we'll have our baseball bat already. I've got everything I need to make it ready to go. And I'm also working on crafting the water filtration unit. As you can see, I'm tracking it in the upper right-hand corner of my screen. I'm almost there. I need wood and charcoal. I used all my charcoal making a burning barrel. Where the fuck is that? Is he underground? He's underground. Where's that sewer, sewer grate? Right here, so... He's down there. Alright, we'll let him come up. Hopefully he will. Thought that might have been the feral. I'm I'm feral paranoid, man, because if he shows up, I'm screwed. I hit him twice and was able to knock him down, but if he comes, I'm gonna have to run. I can't I can't take on a feral. I tried. Yeah, come on. I opened the fucking way for you, dummy. Let's go. I'm not going down there to fucking get you. So if you don't come up, that's on you. All right, that's on you. Now, like I said, I don't think... Wow, I guess the charcoal grills work everywhere. Which is kind of awesome. I dig that. I dig that a lot. Because if I was ever in need of charcoal, I literally could make it just about anywhere. Is that the bathroom? Yeah, that's the bathroom. Ooh, hello. And both bathrooms have triggered, so... Put a bleed on the businessman, and then we'll bap him in the melon. Nice, knock him down. <sighs> yeah, it's never easy in Ravenhurst, man, but I get a baseball bat and it's going to become a lot easier. Because they'll die quicker. Granted, the stamina usage will probably be substantial, but <laughs> anything beats this fucking club right now. And then once I have a baseball bat, I'm going to that crack -a book and we're going to start making quality items. The other thing I was thinking about doing is I might take some of this to these tokens, and if Trader Bob has another water filtration, I think I'm going to buy it. It all depends on what I find. If I find a claw hammer, then good. Uh, really, I don't need any of this right now, and I'm not going to keep it. Uh, let's just deal with this real quick, because otherwise they're going to be on me when I'm trying to do shit. And nobody likes that. Come on. Hershey's is the Great American Chocolate Bar. I'm not living... Oh, it's Tom Clark. Oh, shit, he got fucking caught outside. Damn, I was hoping to catch him inside. Yeah, Tom Clark's a problem. Remember that. <laughs> but yeah, growing up in the Northeast Pennsylvania, I was right across the border from Pennsylvania. I went to Hershey Park numerous times as a kid. My parents took me there many, and well, me and my sisters. I have two sisters, both younger. And uh, we went to Hershey Park numerous times. And I remember, I have nightmares about one of the fucking rides that we went on because it was so tall. And I remember it very well. I don't really... Um, and it was, it was like a Ferris wheel, although it was really tall. It scared the shit out of me growing up. I don't remember what it was called, though. Oddly enough, you'd think something that terrorized my nightmares would, would leave and leaves that kind of impression on you. You'd remember what it was called. But no, I haven't the foggiest clue what it was called, uh, other than the scare the shit out of Henry ride. Coughing coming, please hold. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I don't remember what it was called at all, and that's probably for the better. keep stopping because I know I'm hearing shit, man. I know I'm hearing guys outside, so. None of these fucking tool containers are, are full except this one. Come on, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, give me a fucking claw hammer. No. Nails. Alright, well. Can't all be winners. Although none of them have been winners for me. Oh, oh my goodness, that is a nice wrench. I can find wrenches out the wazoo, but I can't find fucking claw hammers? Come on. Just one claw hammer. Just one claw hammer. Come on. I am so encumbered. God. 
Yeah, I'm not taking you. Uh, I'm not gonna take you. We're gonna we're gonna use you right now. Uh, I don't need the cement right now. I'm gonna keep that because that's that's as much storage as a um as the trash bags. I guess we'll ditch you for the time being. I'm gonna have to go and do an actual run for that and for that chrysanthemum and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. No, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Only because I don't know when I'll find that shit again. I'll take the wood. Uh, pumpkin seeds. Uh, I have a lot of seeds back at base, so I don't think we'll keep that right now. It's really hard to determine what to keep and what not to keep in Ravenhurst because everything is fucking useful at some point down the road. Even shitty stuff like, you know, moldy bread. It all has a purpose. And I know I'm ditching a lot of stuff that I should be holding on to, but I just can't right now. Get a couple more backpack modifiers. And I'm definitely keeping the cannabis seed, though. And the reason I'm keeping the cannabis seed is... Um, well, I get a couple... If I finish my thought, I get a couple more backpack modifiers. I'll hold on to a lot more stuff once my inventory is, is able to sustain it. But uh, the main reason... I'm holding on to the cannabis is because you can make a joint out of it and a joint adds at least it used to when you used it uh it added to your fortitude which in in turn will allow you to craft well basically what you do is, is you use the, the 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 you use the weed and i'm sorry i, I i'm losing my train of thought I keep, I keep thinking i'm hearing shit outside you craft the weed, or you grow the weed, and you use it in a bong, and your fortitude jumps a point, which in turn will allow you to make stuff that you normally may not be able to make. Like, um, for example, I don't know if you heard that, but that was an airdrop. There it is. Save waypoint. Things like the farming irrigation system can be crafted that way. Uh, and plus, you know, it, it saves you from having to put points into, into, into fortitude. I gotta stop and get some fucking water uh, taken care of. Fill, fill those, jug, those jars up with water. Good God. Alright, and then... What do we got? Cardboard box. Come on. Claw hammer, claw hammer, claw hammer. Nope. I can actually I think I can make paint. Please hold coughing coming. Sorry about that. Now there are one or two ways I can go to get to that main stash, which is just to my left. I can either go through the wall, which I think will take 77 years. Yeah, that'll take a long time. Or I can just go around and follow the POI the proper way. Wait, how is that locked? Okay. I think there's a door outside that's open, and I should be able to access that from the inside, or get inside there. Yeah, that's unlocked. Okay, and I don't think there's anybody in here. No. Okay, so... And then I'm going to go up on the roof, and we'll have a couple of zombies to deal with up there. And then, basically, you drop down into the main stash, and then there's a button you can hit to open it up, the, the garage door, which I'm going to have to hit. Ah, oh, damn it. What are you? Bladed weapons. I don't know why I'm keeping the ink right now. I can't use it. Uh, research desk is so far off, it's not even funny. Uh, but pipes and everything else I will use. Come on, good books, good books, good books. Vehicle books are what I'm looking for now. But I'll take a batter up. Uh, attacks to the legs, slow enemies. Yep. Alright. Can't wait to get the baseball bat. And then come over here. Oh, I already looted that. You gonna give me a cordage? You are. Okay. The cord that you get from couches and chairs and things like this, you cannot craft. This cord, oh, twine. You cannot craft it. You have to find it. But it, it's used in a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I need more stuff. I need more fucking stuff. What I need to do is start getting glue crafted. Yeah, we're not keeping that. Once I can start... Well, once I make a bunch of glue, I can make duct tape. Oh, a buzzard? That's new. Oh, come on. Where the 
the hell did he fly off to? Or get whacked off to? No, where the hell did I hit him to? Yeah. Did you just say you whacked off a buzzard, Henry? Yeah, yeah, that came out completely wrong. Bye bye, melon. Bye bye, melon. What are you stupids doing? Wow. I thought the AI was supposed to be improved. Sometimes, not so much. All he's doing is cruising up and down that ladder. Fucking attack. Oh. Well, if you're gonna make it easy for me. We're almost done here, folks. And I know it's been literally been just about a whole day. Shit takes forever in Ravenhurst. Thank you. And the weather churn changes, of course. Uh, I could turn the weather off, but no, I will not. All right, now that should be it for the front. And I don't remember if there's anybody else on the back side here. I don't believe there is. I think that's it. And if it is it, I'm, I'm very happy. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so let me grab this bird's nest and then we'll head down inside and we'll get cracking on the final loot. I think this is only a tier two. Maybe. Uh, I don't remember. All right, let's go through. Don't need. Don't need. I'm not keeping that right now. That will turn into fiber cordage. We'll just craft one and ditch the rest. Uh, I'm not keeping the coffee. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, paper I'm keeping. Nails I'm keeping. Uh, I could really, I could make nails now, so it's really not even a fucking issue. All right. Um, let's get down in here. I need to do this. I need to be able to make a way to get it out, and I'm going to use frames to... Actually, no, I don't. I just hit the fucking button and get out the old-fashioned way. Never mind. <coughs> now we're cooking with gas. Come on, claw hammer. Say it with me, guys. Claw hammer, fingers crossed, claw hammer, fingers crossed. It'd be nice if I got it on the first shot. Of course not. Stone sledgehammer, because, you know, that's what you need in a working stick tool. Shisa. That scared the shit out of me. And that's why you bring your personal crafting station with you, folks. To be able to craft stuff on the fly like this. Now, there was a poll put up on the Discord, the Ravenhurst Discord that uh, I, I partook in this morning. And it basically asked if we were good with this stuff being crafted, the, the, the primitive stuff being crafted in the personal crafting station. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Perfectly fine with that. Uh, primitive handle, craft. You know what, I'm gonna make a new one of these too. So let's craft another one. Do I have the cordage? I think I have the cordage enough to do it. But we definitely need this first. Stone axe, craft. Let's bring that down. This is your RP. Sharp stone. One, two, three, four, five. Put you there. Let's ditch you. I have the second primitive handle. Recipes. So I should be safe in here unless something comes from the roof, which I don't think anything will. <clears throat> Famous last words, though. Hey, dumbass, guess what? Something's coming from the roof. Yeah, so we can craft the stone pickaxe. I really need to get working on the mining tool stuff. Uh, and what I mean by that is, is I need to get into a fucking mine shaft. I haven't even gotten close to starting that shit yet. So that's something I need to do. There's a whole list of things I need to do, but, you know, the basics first. Got to be able to make a workbench. And once I can make a workbench, like I said, I can make a new claw hammer. I can make wrenches, you know, the whole thing. I'm not going to find a claw hammer here. I, I, I just, I can feel it. I'm not going to find it. Scrap tools quality one. I don't know what that means. The harvesting tools. I think I'll have to double check, but Arnold's Almanac. Oh, let's take those. Are we wearing anything better? Oh, yeah, those are definitely better. We'll sell them. Uh, we'll use you because you're no whammies. 
we'll probably sell that to, oh no, actually, you know what? Actually, let's modify these right now for some better mobility. Because that's what that adds. And what is it? Uh, 2%, which is definitely oh, better. And then we got one, one more, two more boxes. And like I said, if I don't find a claw hammer here, it's off to Trader Bob's and see if he sells a claw hammer. I'll pause the video and I'll, I'll restart it up once we get there. Oh, come on, man. Give me the fucking claw hammer. He gave me a beautiful wrench. Give me a claw hammer now. Oh, come on. Claw hammer, fingers crossed. Claw hammers, fingers crossed. Son of a bitch. Advanced repair kit. Uh, table saw. Nice. I can actually make that. Why am I not... Why did I not put those on? I can actually make the table saw. Okay, so... Yeah, we didn't get what we we're looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I will unpause it when we get back up to Trader Bob's and we'll see if he's got it for sale. So uh, please hold. All right, so here we are at Trader Bob's. I killed a couple of zombies inside and a whole bunch outside. Didn't take very long, believe it or not. Um, <coughs> and as you can see, there's even more because that's a roaming horde. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Not much I can do. Uh... Just deal with them, and then go in and check and see if Trader Bob's got what we're looking for. Fingers crossed that he does. I don't know. Oh, Tom Clark, Mr. Mr. Problem himself. I don't have the fucking stamina for this. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stamina regen. Please fall down. Please fall down. Okay, good deal. Now, I move really slow. The other guy, zombies outside were not nearly as bad as this. But hopefully that wandering horde will just wander its ass right on past us. Because they don't look to be heading in the direction of us. They look like they're heading to the east. Alright, let's do this. How much life do you have? Stay down. See, look, they just keep running right past. So if we stay out over here, we might be good. Fingers... Oh, come on. I'm going to let him in. Only because I don't want anybody... Well, I don't really care. Are you feral? No, you're a runner, dude. Oh, this was a mistake. Ah, Christ. Come on, guys. I don't have time for this shit. I gotta see what Trader Bob's got for sale and get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, they're all coming in? Yep, looks like everybody. It's a party. Well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do other than try and kill everybody. Look how encumbered I am, too. Oh, this is so not good. I am out of stamina 100%. Can I use some? Yes, let's use stamina regen plus 15%. Uh, let's just fucking take off over this way. Alright, now... Let's get back to dealing with this. I'm probably going to wind up having to stay here the night. Because it's already 1700 and there are so many fucking zombies here. Oh, god damn it. Should have just let them keep on going. That little stumble forward shit is so fucking ridiculous. Everybody is complaining about that. Every content creator that I'm watching, when they stumble and they come forward, that's kind of stupid. Why in the world would a zombie or anybody that you just punched in the face stumble forward or towards you as opposed to away from you? Explain that to me, please. Because that makes absolutely fuck all for sense. It just doesn't make any sense. Why would they stumble forward? Stumble backwards. Not forward, especially when you get conked in the melon. By a big old wooden club or a baseball bat? Why would you stumble forward? Oh, are you kidding me? Now, now I'm another level, so let's do this. I want to loot this place too, but I just don't think I have the time. <sighs> Should be very quiet. I'm listening to see if there's anybody else walking. I don't 
hear anybody, so maybe we're good. All right, steroids. We're going to use that shit right now. That. Oh, there we go. Look how quickly we move. Now we will absolutely loot this place. I don't hear anybody. Yeah, I think we're good. We're going to close this fucking door again. Oh my god, stupid cat's outside. I want to kill him. Oh, I think we have two of the dumbest animals, three of the dumbest fucking animals in the history of dumb animals. We have two cats and a dog, and, well, a, tr a tree frog, and a beta, and a hamster. And that's all the pets that we have in the house. And I think our fucking dog and cats are just d d doofuses. They're just dumb. They jump on shit, they knock shit over, they, they fucking... <laughs> they... they I, I like to say they don't pay attention, but, you know, you know, they're fucking animals. Really? 16 cornmeal? Hey, you know what? We'll take it. All right. Come on, Trader Bob. Please, All please, please. Are fair here. Yeah. Do you have a fucking claw hammer? Tools. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on. Seriously? Uh, I guess I'm on my own. Shit. This looks like the same fucking inventory that Trader Jen has. Like, almost identical. Anyway, let's sell some shit. Uh, the advanced repair kits, I'm going to sell both of those. I'm going to sell the dented can. Um, no. uh, I can't make bullets yet. That's not worth it. Okay, so what can I, what can I get here? You got a can of sham. We're gonna buy it. Oh, grilled steak sandwich. Buy that shit. Uh, beer I'm gonna buy for the insect trap. We're gonna buy all of that. Ooh, are we gonna buy all of that? That's really expensive. No, but we're gonna buy the water. Uh, hmm. You know what, screw it. I'll start cooking insects. I don't give a shit at this point. And we're gonna buy that. And that's yeah, about it. Back now. Now, your vending machine. What kind of food does this have? Can of pears, we're gonna buy. Can of peas, we're gonna buy. Just, I'm buying everything food wise. And then in here, uh, we're gonna buy the water. It sucks that I'm spending my fucking money on this shit. Um, yeah, we're gonna buy one of those and we're actually gonna use that right now. And then we're gonna get the hell out of here. So my bicycle's over here. And we're going to head back to base. Now, I was going to record on day 11, but I'm not. So the next time we pick this up will be uh, day 13. So that'll... No. Wait a minute. If I would record on the 11, on day 11... Wait a minute. No, that's fucked up because Horde Night's day 14. So... Mm, yeah. Day 12, we'll pick this up on day 12. I'll do day 11 off camera, and then day 12 we'll pick it up, and then... Oh, see, then that fucks everything up, man. God damn it. Normally I would record every other day, and with the 10-day horde night, it worked. But it's not going to work like this. I'm just going to have to... It's going to be wonky then. Eh, whatever. We'll record whenever. We'll try to keep it every other day, but obviously that's not going to work throughout, so we'll have to figure it out as we go. Uh, how far away is that airdrop? That airdrop is far. That's something that I'll go do tomorrow on, on day, tw day 11. Yeah, we'll pick things up on day 12, and hopefully, hopefully I have a claw hammer by then. I mean, Trader Bob let me down, Trader Jen's let me down, the working stiff tools has let me down, every place has let me down. I can't craft one because I need a workbench to craft one, unless, uh, if I'm, if... Claw hammer, crafting area. Oh, for a second I thought I said person, ah, uh, crafting area workbench. See, I can't actually craft one until I can craft a workbench. So that's what we would call a catch-22. In spades. <clears throat> yeah, which, by the way, is a great card game if you've ever played it. I haven't played it in a long time, but I know how to. <sighs> yeah, that's all I got. So anyway, we're going to head back to base, and then we'll call the episode, and we'll pick things up on day 12. <sighs> I, need a, I need, you know, 
there's a couple of working stiff boxes here. No, it's too late. I'll have to come back at a different time. It's way too late at night. <laughs> the fact that it's almost 20, yeah, there's no way I could make it back in time after trying to loot something. So what we'll do is, is I'll, I'll look for construction sites and uh, I'm sure I'll find one. It's just a question of when. I'm not worried about it. I'm a little worried about it because I should have found one. I can't believe I have five wrenches now and I don't have a single claw hammer. That to me is kind of weird. I think I even have a beaker already. Are you fucking radiated? You're radiated? Oh, that's not good. I'm seeing radiate. What are you? Zombie. Oh, okay. You're not radiated. You're one of those yellow runner things with less hit points. Okay. Whew. That, that, ooh, that would have been no good. Uh, I haven't encountered a radiated, really, in in this new version yet, so I'm really nervous about that. <sighs> and to think, I wasn't planning on recording a full episode. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going off the rails a little bit. What are you talking about, Henry? You did record a full episode. Yeah, I know, I wasn't planning to. I was just going to loot that fucking work and stiffs and call it a day. I was convinced I would have gotten a, uh, come here, chicken. Let me, oh, I run you over, chicken, run you over, chicken. Ran over the chicken, nice. Get some meat. I was convinced I was going to, I was going to get what I needed out of that fucking working stiffs. Lo and behold, no. So, that's why I wasn't going to record a full episode. I figured I would have gotten what I needed out of there and we could have just moved on. I could have come back, made the workbench, gotten a baseball bat crafting, you know, day 11 or whatever, whenever we pick it up again, would have just been all about, you know, doing quests and, and looting houses, which I do still need to do. I, uh, I'm about 99% positive that I will find what I'm looking for as far as backpack modification extensions. In, in houses. Uh, I'm positive of that. I have no doubt in my mind now. It seems like the balance has been... It seems like it's been balanced, so I'm, I'm happy. And I'm not going to fill my or open my inventory up from that. Oh, Olive, seriously? You know, you really have just become that neighbor that nobody wants to talk to. You know, you're up in everybody's business... You know, you're new to the neighborhood and you think you know everything and you just want to keep fucking rambling on and on. And the truth of the matter is, talking to you makes most people want to shit. Hi, Arlene. Marlene. Arlene, Marlene, Darlene, Jesus Christ. You're a lean. Now fucking die. So yeah, um... We'll definitely pick things up on day 12. Like I said, day 11, I'm just going to get back on the bike and try to find a fucking claw hammer and cross my fingers that I do. But the traders have failed me. Working stiff has failed me. I feel so lonely. Nah, I, I just, I don't know. Like I said, I know I'll get there. It's just a question of time. Oh, and check this out. I did not know this was here. Um... Until after I put the, the the first fucking thing that when I came to put the second one down, I saw I, I I was like I could turn this into my farm. So I started cutting through it. Well there was a fucking dog right here. And I didn't see it. He saw me and I heard and then he came at me and fucking almost kicked my ass. But yeah, you come up through the bathroom and I have since fixed it and made it better, but there was also a, a an attic fucking hatch here that I took out that I could put a ladder to if need be. But yeah, there was a goddamn dog living right here. Right over our heads. Didn't even know it. And look at him spawn in. I haven't been home five minutes and they're already spawning in. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get inside. Hey, bug collection. Oh, I don't have any room. Let me fucking put some shit away and collect my bugs. Because, yeah, I will absolutely cook them fuckers up. Yep. Yeah, I'm hungry. All right. So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Like I said, I wasn't planning on recording a full episode, but I, eh, whatever. It is what it is at this point. No claw hammer. We're still working on it. I'll get the water filtration unit finished overnight. Um, nope. I need to go collect. Let's, let's go do that real quick. Uh, put shit away. Go collect some wood. 
and then head out and well head out not head out work on the base overnight and let me do this while I still have fucking stamina oh these guys are gonna be a pain in my ball balls I can't I can't dilly dally we'll try and lead them away I've only got a half hour left here and then I can very easily it's it's very easy to lose these guys once the nighttime starts so I'm not worried about that once I'm in base and I crouch they go away after a minute or two they don't they don't spend a lot of time looking for me come on come on come on come on let us fuck you olive I don't like you anymore Thought you were a cool addition, but you're everywhere. And you're that, like I said, you're that nosy neighbor that nobody likes. Oh, they're both pissed off. Look at that. Oh, she should have knocked him down, too. He should have gone down with her. Right, time to... Let me finish up what I was doing. Come on, come on. I just want to get this tree done. 53... That should be enough to make the wood and the charcoal that I need to get the two, two five. Two, yeah, that should be enough to get the the wood and the charcoal made to get the filtration unit going. I have some water. Um, shit, that's what I forgot to do. All these fucking jugs or jars. I forgot to fill them up. Son of a bitch. Well, something else to do for day eleven. All right, so I got a laundry list of stuff to do. And yeah. So anyway, if you like the content, please like, join, and subscribe. Tell your folks, tell your friends, tell your families. Be sure to hit that bell notification icon so you can see more of my future resource failures. Epic failures. Um, I don't know if there's any rats in this version of the game, sweetheart. But if they do, I'm sure they'll feast on my eyes. So anyway, yeah. Hit that bell notification so you can be alerted to when I post my latest videos. And until next time, have fun. Stay safe. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you folks have fun at whatever you do. And of course, play your game.